Shalom Chabarim, Shalom, greetings, this is the Ras Ayodonis Tafar, LOJ Society, the Pearl Majesty, and before, before we get into that, let's first of all address this, the hand sign, the hand sign of Hala Selassie the first, Kadamal Hala Selassie HaKadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hashem, is the hand sign of His Imperial Majesty, the Hebrew Sod, is the hand sign, the hand sign of His Imperial Majesty, the Hebrew Sod. Awo, awo, is that hand sign actually the Hebrew Sod? And what is the Hebrew Sod? What is the Sod? So, we had addressed this one the first to actually make this connection here, but hopefully others of the Chabarim, the Chabertenyoch, of the fellow associates, the followers and disciples can also go into this a little bit more, just to address a couple of first words right here on the true, the Hebraic interpretation according to the glory of his majesty, the Bible, as Abinu Melkenu, so says himself, for my part, I glory in the Bible. So this is why I study, to study, to shoot, I and I self approve to he who be who he be, is I vine man. is so very, very important and should be very, very important to I and I and we. So is the hand sign of Hadis Alasi the first of Ethiopia, the Hebrew sowed. And what is the mystery of the Hebrew soul? So this is what we are considering right here and also just documenting in this vlog. We've done other vlogs, videos, and teachings and making that connection with the Hebrew soul. But there's some more that we have discovered in I and I studies, some more da'at, some more data, knowledge, gnosis, and facts to share concerning the true interpretation of the hand sign of Gurmawi, Negusa Neges Gurmawi Haile Selassie, of his Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, explained in Jaglore, in Jaglory, in the Bible, and going to the root, the groundation, the Hebrew scriptures. So I'm we'll getting into a little bit more of that right there, right? But first, a little bit on this. Now, the Hebrew sold. What is the Hebrew sold? All right, the Hebrew sold. <laughs> yes, the Hebrew sold. Right, we have sold right here. We also have a little bit of the the H fifty four seventy five. The H fifty four seventy five. It appears within the the Hebrew Bible, or what's sometimes referred to as the MT or the BHS, the Biblical Hebrew Scriptures or the Masoretic Text in the Hebrew. We could say, generally speaking, the Old Testament, it appears 21 times in 21 places in the Hebrew Bible. Sod. So we both have the letter, right? Some will say sod or sod, right? And we also have the word sod, right? Sod. So we first of all go to the, the Strong's Concordance as a point of reference. It's the H. 5475, as we mentioned, we have it 21 times, there's 21 matches to this word within the Hebrew scriptures and then the cross reference that we're going to use in the KJV, in the King James Targum or the King James Version, all right? So here we actually are at the second reference to the Hebrew sold within one of the oldest books of the Hebrew Bible. One of the oldest books is the book of Eob or the book of Job, right? In the book of Job, Eob, chapter 15, verse 8, Chabarim. And here we have it where it says, Hast thou heard the sold? Have you heard the secret of Elohim? of the source of the true power, which one's called God. And dost thou restrain wisdom? Does thou restrain wisdom or chokmah? Chokmah, the Hebrew Sophia in the good sense, often translated skill, wisdom, wisely, wit. And dost thou restrain wisdom to thyself? So we have this particular verse right here. 
Chabarim. It says right here, Hav, Hav Sod, or Hav Sod, or Hav Besod. Ha Beso. Ha Beso Eloha. Ha Beso Eloha. Tishma'a. Tishma'a. We Tigara'a. Eleka. We Tigara'a. Eleka. Hakma. Hakma. Hakma or Hakma. Chokma. Wisdom. Ha be Sod, hav sod, hav sod, eloha, eloha, tishma'a. So here's one of the, this is like the second place within the Bible in the present order of the Bible. And we're using the King James as a point of reference. And we just highlight it. Let's zoom in right here. We just highlight it. Right? We just highlight it. The sod right there. The sod. So what does sod mean? Sawad, some might say sawad, sawad, saud, sawad, saud. Sawad in more of the archaic, sawad, and in the contracted sense, a saud, sawad, saud. Well, first of all, it's the H5475. Sod here is defined as a session, i.e. an est, a company of persons, open parenthesis, in close deliberation, close parenthesis. So first, the first entry we have for Saud, right, Sawad, Saud, the H5475 is a session referring to a company of persons, a company of persons in close deliberation. Now let us take note, right? Let's take note right here in the second reference to sold in the Hebrew scriptures, right? The first part of the verse, Job 15 and 8. Hast thou heard, hast thou heard the secret of Eloha, the secret of Elohim, the secret of the true power? Hast thou heard the sold? All right, so sold in the first entrance or the first entry is a session referring to a company of persons who are in close deliberation. The second entry, open parenthesis by implication, close parenthesis. So the second entry, right, is what is implied by sold, sawad, sold, right, is intimacy, intimacy, consultation. A secret. Intimacy, consultation, and a secret. So the implication of a sold, a session, a company of persons in close deliberation, such as the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, is intimacy, is consultation. And it's also a secret. So we, we get in the KJV translation of Job 15 and 8. They say, hast thou heard the secret of Eloha? And now Eloha, like we said, it's one of the oldest books. And here in one of the oldest books, the way Ha Elohim, Ha Elohim, the true source, the true power, translated often in the just Gentile, Western Gentile language as God, right, is Eloha. But the key right here, what we're focusing on is the secret, right? What is the secret of the hand sign? There's a lot of speculation. There is a lot of assumption, presumption, you know, as to what the hand sign actually means. What we must first of all do is Shema Israel, right? First thing, Simi Ethiopia is to hear. Right? To hear, to give ear. And the teaching of his majesty says, for my part, I glory, I glory in the Bible. All right? So studying the Bible from the low degrees to high degrees, when I said low degrees, you know, in the plain, the Peshat, the KJV, and then in discipleship study, we get into the Hebrew, and as we are doing right here, studying to shoot, I and I self approved, my right? to Ha Elohim as workmen doing job work that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing or rightly explaining 
the word of truth according to the standard of Abinu Melkeinu, I and I father and I king Abuna Nagusna, I and I father and I king Abatachin Nagusachin Kadamawi Haila Salase. Hast thou heard the secret? Now also in this word, right, in this word right here, let's bring this up, boom. Let's zoom in a little bit right here. All right, let us zoom in right here. A session, a company of person. Now, if you look at the bottom, it says KJV. It says KJV colon assembly comma council comma inward comma secret open parenthesis council close parenthesis period. So this means right there, KJV is that this is how the word is found within the King James Version of the Bible in the translation. So the word sold is found in some places to refer to assembly, not in all places. Let's just make that note right there. In some places to refer to assembly. And it's all according to the context of the script. Counsel, in other places to counsel. In some places or place or so to inward. And here we have it to secret in the sense of secret counsel. So it's speaking of the secret council of Eloha, of Haila, right? Even the secret council of Haila Selassie, of the first power of the Trinity of Abinu, Melkeinu, Abuna, Nugusna, I and I Father, I and I King, Abatachin, Nugusachin, Kadamawi, Haila Selassie. Right? So according to the word and the teaching of His Majesty, the golden articulation of the King of Kings, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, we are referring to the scriptures, the Bible. So what's very interesting is that when we actually look at the hand sign, it becomes very clear right, that the hand sign, unlike what a lot of people may assume it is, refers to this Hebrew letter. And in the scripture, we get the half of the story that has not been told until now. So like I mentioned before, we did a couple of other vids vlogs on this particular subject matter previously so we like to you know pull all of these um videos on this subject matter of the hand sign all together and just to put it together as a point of reference and also to follow up with what we are bringing forward here and what we have brought forward there as well but to the brothers and sisters be sure to download back up archive and save you know archive and save these vlogs, these videos for your personal archives, your family archive, your group or even your ministry archive as well. Now, this word is actually from the H3245. You can see that right there is from the H32, the Hebrew word that is numbered according to the Strong's as 3245. So what is the 3245? The 3245, zoom in right there, is Yasad, right? Or Yased. It's from the word Yased. Yased, Yased. Yased, or some would say Yasad, which in the first entry means to set. To set. To set in the literal sense of the word, as well as to set in the figurative sense of the word. The second entry has the intensive of this particular verb, yasad, yasada, which means to found, like you found, to found something. The third entry is the reflexive or reflexively to sit down together. To sata, we say sata and sup together, Rastafari. Come, make we, make we seat up, make we seat up, come, make we reason together. So in the reflexive sense, to sit down together i.e. in S to settle, to settle, or in the patois, seckle, 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 sa, seckle, to settle or to consult. Now, here we have the primitive, the prime root of the word. It's the prime root, the primitive, the most ancient root or reference of the word. Now, KJV translates yasad, the root of sawad or sold, to mean and in translation in KJV, King James Version, to a point. So in some places when we find the word a point, behind that word is yasad, yasad, yasade, to take counsel, to establish, open parenthesis, to lay the, 
comma, lay four A, close parenthesis, found, open parenthesis, hyphen, Asian, close parenthesis, to lay the foundation, to lay a foundation, to found something in the sense of to lay a foundation, to lay a what? To lay the cornerstone, to lay the cornerstone. So here again is a link even with Psalm 118, the stone which the builders who are the so-called masons or the Freemasons, the stone which the builders rejected or despised, despitefully is become, right? The head, the rosh, the rosh in the Hebrew is the ras, the ras of the corner. Have that in Psalm 18, a very, very important word. The stone which the builders refused is become the head corner stone, the head of the corner. So looking at the connection with the hand sign of his imperial majesty, the sold, the Hebrew sold, looking at that in connection with the meaning of the root of the word yasad, yasade, in the reflexive sense, right? We have to sit down together to settle, to consult, but in the intensive sense, it is to found. In other words, to lay the foundation or to lay a foundation. It also means to instruct. It also is translated as, in the KJV, to instruct, to lay, to ordain, to set, and to make something sure, to make something sure, to make it firm. For ever living, forever living, forever faithful, forever yasad, yasad, yasod, Jasod, the sod, right? So we have that link right here, very, very powerful link right here. So something for I and I, food for thought, right? The meaning of the hand sign of his majesty, according to the glory, according to the glory of his majesty. And that is the B-I-B-L-E, that is the Bible. And so we're taking it one step, we can say further than just the KJV, but getting to the root, in other words, it's like when, when one would look at a web page, a website, and you look for the source code. So we're going into the source code, going into the source code of the Hebrew. This is why we call it the HD, the Hebrew definition, or the Hebrew dimension, so to speak, but the Hebrew, the, the high definition, right? So getting beyond just the KJV, but using that as a first step, a first, like the baby steps, a first point of reference, then looking at the source code, right? What is the source code behind it? So I'd like to go through some of the other areas. There's 21 areas, as we mentioned already, where we have Sawad or Saud. We have the Hebrew Saud, the hand sign of his imperial majesty. So come, make I and I seat up together. Come make with reason. Come make we lay and build on the foundation of the King of Kings Christ. Awo, amen. Yes, I chavarim. Shalom, chavarim. More to come. You know, more to come on this particular subject matter. Be sure to check out the other vlogs and the videos that LOJ Society and I, the I Wendem, the Ross, I Adonis did on the hand sign of His Majesty, in particular with the connection with the Hebrew sold, with the Hebrew sold. Hast thou heard the secret of Eloha? Have thou heard the secret of Hila Salase? Do you know the hand sign? Pay attention to the works of his hands. Awo, amen, where, amen. Shalom, chabrim, shalom.